I'm Norris John. Knoxville, welcome to Disney. Jack. It's an unusual expedition. Artists, musicians, and writers setting out on a trip through Latin America to find new personalities, music, dances for their latest cartoon films. <laughs> Lake Titicaca is approximately 13,000 feet above sea level. <laughs> approximately, at this great height, many visitors are subject to altitude fever or soroche. The most common symptom is dizziness. <laughs> Often followed by palpitation of the heart. The ears have a tendency to pop, and a peculiar ringing sound is <laughs> Fascinating, isn't it? The balsa, or basket, is constructed entirely of green and impervious to practically everything except the inquisitive tourist. Crossing the lake, often filled with adventure, a strong wind may rise very suddenly. And then stop that. In the village, we find this quaint old bakery where the tourist may loaf around to his heart's content. The gentle, undulating gait of the llama adapts itself very nicely to the swaying motion of the suspension. Suspension! Far below us, we see the jelly. <laughs> the traveler should be cautioned against any reckless behavior at this high altitude. Poor exertion is dangerous, and above all, one should never lose one's temper. <laughs> Seldom failing to accumulate a large collection of the native handiwork as he bids a fond farewell to the land of the Incas, Lake Titicaca. Howdy, strangers! This colorful cowhand of the Great West has his counterpart in the South American Gulch. So let us call upon the magic of our motion picture camera. Whisk our hardy heroes over land and sea, over rugged mountains and dense jungles, all across the equator, the lush, grassy pampas of the Argentine. The whole of the Gaucho, although their costume differs in a few minor details. We substitute for Pacho, Sombrero, and there's the Sacra, or the Chiripa, both us, Escuela. Then finally, we have the Poncho, which just about covers everything. The Gaucho's closest friend and inseparable companion is his horse, oh, Pinkle. Quickly, the Gaucho reaches for his lasso, whirling the rawhide above his head as he enters about the horse's neck, easily subdues the spirit of the animal. The snubbing or the palenque. Thanks to the palenque or snubbing post, the horse is soon brought under control and is ready for the saddle. While it appears complex at first glance, the recal or saddle is really simplicity itself. In settling horse or pinko, the gaucho simply lays a foundation of suaderos and rosaderos, adding to scene just pastos, sheepskin, pigskin, bridle, bit, and finally, the gaucho. When riding the range at night, the saddle may be quickly converted into a bed or cotry. Bed? <laughs> The Gaucho's method of eating looks quite simple, yet requires a certain amount of practice. Bread and meat are held in one hand, a knife in the other. Note the action of wrist and elbow as knife and food synchronize in depth. graceful rhythm. One, two, bite, cut, chew. One, two, a bite, cut, chew. Yes, it is this wholesome diet that builds the Gaucho's nerves of steel and muscles of iron. <coughs> now the boleadoras. Or bola. The bolas consists of three lead weights covered with rawhide. It is often used for sports such as capturing that swift moving bird of the papas, the Argentine ostrich, or avestruz. Unlike most members of the ostrich family, the avestruz is not equipped with ornamental <coughs> tubes. Slender legs make excellent targets for the bolas. They say bolas. The Gaucho whirls the bolas faster around, faster and through. Straight and sure it flies until it finds its mark. The swift bird is captured and fired one operation. And now fully appreciate this remarkable feat. Let us study the action of the eye of the slow motion camera. Note the grace, the slight footed creature in subtle but like delicate balance and foot like precision. Man. Moving as one, display a minimum of waist motion as the whirling bolas are unleashed. Whoa! Faster and faster. On and they on. spin closer and closer. <laughs> The lone gaucho oft times finds himself far, far out on the pampas. Just saw, just Let us dance to the lively beat of the chakarea. Combining the minuet, bunny hug, and the finishing jumping jump. The purpose of the is spreading the rug. And El Malambo, a solo number in which the dancer swings out with utter abandon, often described as perpetual motion below the equator. <laughs> now, as he sways at the gentle undulations of El Malambo, the gladly gone boy and splendid cowboy, the prairie of here we leave it warm and tender memories of this gay romantic land of the culture. Brasil, Brasil. Cachaça? Que tal uma cachaçinha agora, hein? Saúde!